Well, the day has finally come. Silent Hill 2 Remake has a new trailer. And in a twist that I never in a million years could have imagined, people are upset. If you couldn't tell that was sarcasm, I saw this coming from 100 miles away. Silent Hill has always had a notoriously difficult to please fan base, and for pretty good reason, right? It's been over a decade since the last mainline release, and if we're being honest with ourselves, it's probably been two decades since the last good one. So the fact that people are upset with the new trailer isn't surprising in the slightest. And I'll keep it real with you, there are things I'm not a huge fan of either, but I think we might be overreacting just a little bit. And before you start being mean to me, let's just talk about it. We'll go through the trailer and nitpick together. I'm not here trying to offer mass amounts of copium to you all, I'm not some Konami simp, I mean, my most successful video on this channel is ripping Konami and Ascension apart. I just think that for what this trailer is, we may be blowing things a bit out of proportion. And let's start there, what is this trailer? I've been seeing a ton of people criticizing how action-focused the game looks here, that the true psychological experience of Silent Hill is gone, and Bloober is giving us nothing but another Resident Evil clone. And it's true, the game does look action-focused from this trailer, uh, because this is a combat reveal. The whole point of this trailer is to give everyone a look at what the actual gameplay looks like. And hear me out on this, the gameplay of Silent Hill 2 boils down essentially to what? Wandering around, solving puzzles, and fighting monsters. What do you want from a gameplay reveal? James trying to open locked doors for two minutes? So the criticism that the remake looks too action heavy is a bit silly at this point in time, at least in my opinion. We can't judge that just yet when we have one trailer consisting entirely on cinematics and another entirely on combat. Next, visually, what are we seeing here? Well, to me, and I don't know if I'm alone in this, James is the worst looking thing here. Bloober is known for atmosphere and vibes, so I expected them to nail it, and just from this alone it looks like they pretty much have. Uh, one of my biggest gripes with the original reveal trailer was that the environment looked too clean, not old and run down enough. From what we see here, it seems that's been addressed, so good job, Bloober. As for James, he looks... wonky. I think his animations in general just sort of need some polish, the walking in particular. Also, what's with the bleach blonde hair? Bro looks like he's part of a K-pop group or something. I think the creature design is unsurprisingly pretty incredible, uh, as to be expected from Masahiro Ito. We also seem to be getting some variations of the lying figures and nurses, which is pretty cool. One thing I noticed on a rewatch of the trailer is that the lying figures seem to make the same high-pitched yell that they do in the original game. Accuracy is key in a remake of something like Silent Hill 2, so that is a welcome sign. At the same time, it seems that a few of the monsters are gushing like a greenish substance when they get shot. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I can't say I'm a huge fan of it. The original was pretty gory for its time, if you remember. James would put a monster down and walk away, leaving bloody footprints behind. I'm not sure what this is all about, but yeah, I hope it's changed or at least explained. Of course, this is a combat trailer, so let's talk about it. How did the combat look? Um, fine, I guess. To be honest, I don't love it. I also don't hate it. I'm just sort of indifferent and hoping that Bloober adds a couple layers of polish before the game actually releases. I can echo the sentiment that maybe it doesn't look heavy enough, like the impact of the swings don't look forceful, but other than that, it looks okay. I can say with certainty, my absolute biggest gripe with everything shown here would have to be the quick time events. This is probably the only time throughout the trailer where I can agree that, yeah, this kinda sucks. And I don't hate quick time events, I think they can be a useful gameplay tool when utilized properly, but I do hate everything about the ones shown in this trailer. The animation of James struggling with the lying figure kind of just looks bad, and honestly, it reminded me of something out of Ascension. I want the enemies to have that jittery Jacob's Ladder-esque movement, but this is not that. This just stinks. And on top of that stellar animation, the screen becomes soaked with blood and mucus and Really, it just looks kind of cheap, a little corny. 
please remove it. I don't I don't like it one bit. Other than that, I think my main takeaway is that the game, like I said earlier, still needs a few layers of polish. It looked like something that wasn't quite ready to hit shelves. In terms of tone and direction, it's really hard to gauge those sorts of things from a trailer of which the sole purpose was to show combat. Do I hope Bloober improves the stiffness and wonky animations? Yeah. Do I think this remake is doomed because of one trailer clearly stating that the game is still in development? No. They have time to let it cook, and I think many of the reservations I've been seeing online should be held for later when a concrete release window is established. Now, was there any good to come from the trailer we were just given? Hell yeah. Like I said, the atmosphere looks incredible. Uh, we got a sneak peek at a couple puzzles, one of which looked to be that insane coin placement one from the original. If you noticed, a lot of the sound design has stayed true to the classic, the monster sounds in particular. Uh, I'm pretty sure the radio static is just ripped straight from the original game, which I do appreciate. The music sounded great, being reworked classics from Yamaoka. James wasn't rolling around the ground or landing any insane combos, just bare bones whacking and shooting. Did it look great? Not really. Did it look bad? Also, not really. I know I keep repeating myself, but with some polish, I think it looks really promising. I think we're in a weird place right now where, for whatever reason, a large group of people are just kind of rooting for this game to fail. I mean, we have the diehards, who are expecting this remake to have tank controls and run in 480p, I guess. Then we have the crowd, who apparently forgot there was combat in Silent Hill, saying this remake is going full-on Resident Evil, and on the opposite end, we have the casuals saying it could never compare to Resident Evil like it was ever supposed to. I think we saw this coming, though. When taking on a task like remaking Silent Hill 2, it's gonna be damn near impossible to please everyone. Over the course of 25 years, this franchise has accumulated a pretty diverse fan base, and I think there are a bunch of subsects all with different versions of what Silent Hill should be in 2024. If you're one of those seething at the footage we got today, I implore you to take a step back and see this for what it is. A revival of the franchise we all love. And Bloober Team is not some massive studio with massive budgets like a, like a Capcom. If you were expecting RE Engine quality gameplay, well, it might be smart to temper expectations. And who knows, if this remake does well, we could see other remakes all increasing in quality with the size of the fanbase. I know a lot of you are going to be unhappy with my takes here. I expect nothing less from the Silent Hill fandom. We're all passionate. I'll give us that. Anyway, the short message released today as well, which is awesome. I heard Ito and Yamaoka worked on that as well. I'll have to give it a try and let you know what I think. But that's it. Thanks for watching. The video might be a bit of a mess. I threw it together super quickly after watching the state of play. I promise my other content is higher quality. But subscribe if you enjoyed, take it easy on me if you didn't, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention my actual biggest gripe with the game. Still no release date.